say. Yes, yes, Governor. I didn't enjoy my stay in Ingleside, do you know that? I'm not really as slow as you think. My father was a judge, and I sometimes just pretend to be gullible. What are you doing? Now, what am I going to do with that giant hamster? I was going to ask you about maybe going out for a meal tonight, or maybe the cinema. Well, you're quite forward, aren't you? Yeah, well, please, don't turn me down. You wouldn't want to upset my pride, would you? I suppose I need to enjoy myself. <laughs> gotcha. Mm, your pills, you old granny bitch. Revenge. You make sure you put it in a safe place. How about the library or, or something? Right, don't you worry, I I'll see to it. How about starting up a numbers game? Start getting the ball running. What's all this? Miss Baxter, what the hell is going on? You've got some explaining to do. I wasn't hiding. I disguised myself. And I was alright until I, I stole a handbag off of this woman in the street. The bloody camera filmed it, didn't it? Filming the street. And Bob's your uncle. Here I am. You look awful. It's called cold turkey. I mean, chicken. And you should try bloody being in a police cell for two nights running. I had that once, when I stopped drinking tea. Come on, you bastards. Come on, you screws. I might be thin, but I'm not stupid. Come on, come and get it. Stupid girl, what did you go and do that for? You could have killed yourself. I've got cold chicken. I needed some drugs. I'm warning you, I'll do it. I'll top myself. Is it still kicking off in there? What the hell is going on? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I want some drugs. You've really gone and done it this time, Drake. The department will bump your time up for sure. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> You'll never learn, Drake. You'll be in solitary for some time. I thought it was solitary, you bloody moron. What the fuck is going on?
I'd say you're bloody lucky back there. I could have told the governor everything. And don't forget, I still can if I like. You could end up in here yourself, Baxter. And of course, that's what I wanted. So, you're going to return the favour. Get your arm off. And what if I don't return the favour? If you don't, Baxter. You can consider yourself. Oh, I hope the dogs are going to be all right. Oh, you, you've got dogs, love. Yeah. Oh, I want to get out of this bloody dump. Don't you? Yeah, I'll see what you mean. Yeah, but Maureen, you're bloody tough. You can look after yourself. Two Jack Russells. One's from a rescue centre. The other one's a, a bit younger than the other one. But, um, it's a little terror. But they're lovely natured dogs. <laughs> Hope my, um, son's put the radio on in the hallway. Um, it stops the dogs from pining. Oh, I see. It's a good idea. Well, we have to when anyone goes out, otherwise they start barking. You obviously love them very much, don't you, Sandra? Yeah, I love my dogs. I wonder whether I'll be allowed to make a phone call, Pearl? Oh, um, why not ask the Governor? She thinks so, Daryl. Well, I talked to the officer that when I arrived, and uh, I asked her then, so I suppose she'll tell the Governor anyway. So I'll just wait. Oh, you've got a lot to learn, love, in a place like this. Come on, you come with me. Dear, they mess you around in this bloody place, I'll tell ya. You just come with me. Oh, good day, Lily. How's it going? Oh, fine, thank you, Pearl. I'm, I'm, I'm lucky I've got friends in here, otherwise I, I wouldn't know what to do. Well, you always need your friends to catch you when you fall. Oh, Boo Adams. Yes. You watch that one, Lily, won't you? Yeah, I will. Don't mess around, Butterfield. What's wrong? What, what do you want? It's Sandra. She needs to see Mrs. Peterson. And a phone call to her family. Well, the governor is asked. We say that we did ask you, but obviously there's a problem. I'll take her there as soon as the exercise period's over. Now get back! Oh, cheers, Miss Baxter. You look very smart in that uniform. That looks very nice on you. Askin, get back to your exercise period and stop wasting my time. Sorry to rush in like this, Mrs. Peterson. What the hell is going on? Me and Mrs. Bailey have caught the baby hamster. You what? Oh. And we think it would be a good idea to use the baby as a trap to trap the mother. Well, oh, thank God for that. We've um, put it in the storeroom in, in the E-wing for you. We locked it in there. So, Sandra, where is your husband? these days. I mean, I know you got married with him, but, well, you know, the world gets it out. Oh, um, no, we're divorced now, Pearl. Yeah, it's been two years now. Oh, I I'm sorry, Sandra. Oh, that's all right. I mean, I'm over it now. Oh, oh, love, I don't feel too good. What's the matter, Beryl? It's my ticker, dear. Oh, I couldn't find the pills this morning, but I thought I was going to be all right, love. Oh, come on, Beryl, let's get you inside. Oh, oh, love. I hope Beryl will be all right. It's probably a bit of stress, love. You know, what with being slammed up in here for such a long time. Oh, Miss Baxter, Beryl needs to go back inside. She's forgotten to take her medication. The tablets she takes, they're in her dorm. Oh, right, you take her through. Go on, take her. Come on, Beryl. Thanks, Miss Baxter. And step up on that bit there. Be careful now. Now, what about luring the hamster into my office? 
Oh, then I could open the um, trap door, couldn't I? Well, mind you, I wouldn't want it to be injured. The inmates that it has killed, they're drug dealers anyway. They're all drug addicts, they were. All smuggled in. Drugs, every one of them, and I'm fed up with people that think they're going to use my prison to smuggle in booze and drugs and cigarettes. Because I don't get one little bit. The department takes the whole lot away and I get so angry because there's some lovely booze they get in here. What were you saying, Miss Pitts? Yes, well, I'm, I'm fed up with how many are drug addicts, I mean. So maybe it was the best way to die, I mean. Well, if... If you ask me, I think we should trap the hamster in the corridor, in the security gates, in between the security gates. Maybe a wing, seeing the corridor is quite small there, it will box the hamster in quite tightly. Won't it? I didn't know it could get up and down the stairs. Oh yes, that hamster has been all over this prison and it's even eaten Mrs Grange. Officer Grange? You know that one, don't you, Governor? Yeah, she bought me a cup of tea once in my office. She's been eaten. <gasps> oh, did you hear that? Eaten? Oh. Yeah, by the hamster. It got up to A block and B block. Oh, well. Can't always be good looking and get away with it, can you? <laughs> Sorry, I, I shouldn't be nasty. But when I was working as a senior officer in, in H block, she was working with me. And she said, I'm too slow to ever get to a governor position. So here I am. I did try working at Barnsers, but Vera didn't want me there. Get that finger out of my hair. Who, who's Vera? Oh, never mind. That's um, Governor of Barnsers, isn't it, Governor? Yes, that's right, Governor of Barnsers. Oh, of course, yes, the Governor. Is she, um, you know, like uh, Miss Baxter? Then... Oh, yes. Not as much as Baxter. Baxter's into whips. Now, come on. Let's get that hamster. Where is that giant hamster? Now, let's see. Here we go. Um, oh. Oh, oh shit, it's gone. I need a chocolate milkshake. It was here, wasn't it, Mr. Matthews? Yes, you can see where it's escaped, though. Oh, it's so scary. It must have run, taken the big run up to that one, and went straight through that cardboard. Zoom in on me. You are being paid for this, stupid, and me. I'm getting a lot of script lately. Actually, I never really thought I'd come into the limelight of things, but I think I have. I've looked everywhere. Bloody hell, love. I'm gonna die. Love, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna meet me maker. <laughs> Help me, love. I'm gonna snuff it. Beryl, I'm gonna go and get the screws for help. I'll be back in a minute. It's a, it's a button, it's like a chocolate button. I bought it at the pet shop. Oh, right. Oh, I really hope it's gonna work. Oh, we can trap that hamster. Oh, God. Let's hope. Oh, I'll be glad when all of this is over. Here, Hammy Hammy. Here, Hammy Hammy. Hell, I hope this is going to work. I was supposed to be signed out by now. I've got my barbecue waiting for me with the kids at home and my, my husband's suit. Oh, it doesn't seem to be working. Surely with the size of that thing, surely he would be able to smell the, that small chocolate with his sense of smell. I mean, that's a giant hamster, isn't it? Get out of my hair. I don't see it buying the idea seems to know we're trying to set it up. Oh no, it's, it's too obvious. It can smell us. Oh shit, the bed. It's going to eat it. 
Oh, that's it. Go for the tree. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 Fanny. That stunk. Whew, whiffy. Shall I press it? Shall I, shall I do it? What shall I do? What shall I do? Look, I, I think it will tear down those walls and go for the kitchen. They're only cardboard. <laughs> Cut that bit. Or, or shall we take again? Oh, we can't send that away, can we? Oh, it's so sweet. Oh, look, I'm the governor of this prison. Oh, God. Oh. Send it to the RSPCA. It's not knocking down my gates like that. We haven't got many gates as it is. How dare you? It's okay. Let's think about this clearly. We'll call the RSPCA. But it, if it carries on like this, it will eat its way through the prisoners and the staff. I'm reporting from Wentworth Detention Centre. This is not a hoax. There is a giant hamster trying to eat the entire contents of this prison. Yes, that's right. That's correct. I'm the governor of this prison and I'm telling you now, it's not a hoax. It's very serious. Oh, Mrs. Maysworth, Stratton, what's wrong? It's Beryl, she's in her cell. I can't find her heart pills. She could die. I think we should call the Sister Kelly. Right, right, well, uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ring a paddy wagon. I mean, an ambulance. outside. Mrs. Radcliffe, you'll have to take um, have to take him through the security gate. They're double locked, so make it's sure you get guard. guard isn't it? Okay? Oh, now you go he's through. Able. Shut up, he's mine. You bitch, you always get Leave it out, Margot. Oh, thank God that those bloody alarms have been turned off. Yeah, thank God for that. Who's God? <laughs> that served you wrong, darling. <gasps> oh, are we too late? No, it's it's all right, Gary. Everything's going to be absolutely fine. Oh, brilliant. I went to see Sister Kelly and she gave me a bottle of the pills that... 
are usually prescribed for Beryl. Do you think that was a wise thing to do? On the contrary, yes, I do. And it's proved so. Her pulse has returned to normal and she should be fine later on. How do you know all this? <laughs> because, Gary, it's certainly not the first time. Right, I'll go and get the ambulance to leave because it won't want to stand around. Oh, thank, thank you, Miss Radcliffe. It's okay, Gary. Move through. Beryl's going to be all right. I heard Beryl. it from Radcliffe. Oh, thank God for that. Oh. I wish she died. Hurry it up, you lot. Hurry it up. Come on, and shut up with all that natter. Get out of my hair. I want to work the press. You're always bloody working the press. Anyway, bloody Adams is here, so you better get off, because she'll fucking kill you. Not you. What have I done now? I don't even want to work anyway, bloody shitty thing don't work. Rather work the fat. I think there's a plastic bottle underneath there, don't you? Well, I did what you bloody wanted, didn't I? You've done that real well, Adams, well, real well. I think well. I should get my hair dyed. Here. Right, you go through. Don't keep knit. Go on, that hair's falling out. Sorry. But our drug rackets have only just started. Yeah, I've got to be a lot more careful. Well, it was your big mouth. Don't, Adams, I'm not in the mood. Oh, what are you talking about? Don't make me laugh. Sorry, I was trying to listen. You, get in there. Funny that, though, in it? Because I'm not even in the mood for Beryl's that. Beryl's going to be back. Do you know that? Mrs Maysworth gave her some tablets because Sister Kelly's back and she's going to be all right. Beryl's going to be back. Oh, brilliant. She's lovely, Beryl. And is there any drugs around here? Aren't you forgetting what she charged me with, the bloody bitch? Hey, Pearl, I heard they're going to get rid of this fab for a cheaper one. They can't because fab gets it whiter than white. And you know our clothes need to be white. Yeah. Oh, do you think we should play hide and seek in here? I'm holding this radio, but I can't find no batteries for it. It's so annoying. All right. Oh, what? Sorry, what did you say? I said I used to use Daz on the outside. It was better. I'm using the press today. What's that dripping? Was that your fufu? Well, it was you who made the bloody storyline up, wasn't it? It was obvious she was going to charge you, but I thought you could have done better than just, and I quote, I wanted drugs. But I wanted drugs for Miss Baxter. And if I wasn't going to get any, I was going to get Cunningham to bash her. If that was the case, Adams, if that was the case, then Mrs Maysworth would have caught me, wouldn't have caught me, I'm telling you off. You'd be carded off on a stretcher. And maybe make Cunningham take the blame. Cunningham meaning wouldn't bother me. In fact, one less of you bastards would suit me just fine. Well, thanks for your colourful story, Baxter. Miss Baxter. But, like you say, we've got work to do. Anything you want? What? Chris? Oh, I do want some fab. I've just shut it, but it's... Have you got any fab? Don't you worry. The more the governor punishes me, the more I retaliate. And she's too dumb to notice. She never realised, not even if I bloody done her right in here, would she? She's so bloody slow. Yes, I have to admit, I do agree with you. On one thing. Here's your fab. Cheers, Is. That's all right, no. OK, girls. All the rules around here still stick. I'm top dog. And if you want any bloody drugs around here, you know where to come, don't you? Bitch. Who? I didn't say that. Now, you listen up. 
There's not any changes around here, but you make sure that if you want any drugs, you offer still six. At lunchtime, pop into my cell and I'll have a stash waiting for you. So you just know who your bloody top dog is, all right? You all understand that, I hope. So, who? Who's what? Just doing that. Stop that bloody... Sorry. Right, it's all yours, Adams. Good. See, Baxter's helped you out again, then. Beryl! Oh, Beryl! Oh, love! Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'll be all right. All right, love. Oh, Beryl! Oh! Yeah. I'm all right now, love. Did you have your ear up to the door? Or have you been making deals with Mrs. Maysworth? That's why she brought you back to life. Shame, ain't it? We all know we don't go making deals with any officers around here, don't we, girls? Yeah, that's it, Beryl. You tell her. Bloody bitch. Bloody great big air rifle she had pointing at us. Do you know that? Don't be bloody stupid. They only shoot you in the arm or the leg. That's not gonna put me out for long. Will you turn that fucking thing off? Rather you than me, but. Anyway, what bleeding favour do I owe you now? I don't like the tone in your voice, Carol. You better change it. Otherwise, you won't be able to speak when you lose your bloody head. I'll wring your bloody neck, you hear me? All right, okay, I bloody give him. What gives? You're going to help me with the rackets. Heavy the women a bit, you know. When they have to reach my prices. You know what I mean? Hey, uh, come on, Estrella. I don't want to lose my reputation now, do I? Carol, you've got no bloody reputation. You're a background prisoner and that's all you bloody are. That won't even get you to watch, to do home and away. But I'll tell you, if you stick by me, I'll bring you into the spotlight a bit. And you might make it for five seconds to be on Crocodile Dundee. Come on, Susie, my vibrator. So, are you in? I'm beginning to like you a lot more, Cunningham. Now I've got a bloody ton of coke. Speed. Yeah, and speed and bloody acid, the bloody works. How are we supposed to get to it? You won't be able to get to it if it's there. The customers want it there and then. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. Mm. I think the best place is the library. Where, whereabouts do you think? Well, what section isn't ever used? Um, Eni Blyton. Carol, how many Eden Blyton books are there? Um, two. I've read them. They're really good. No, you silly cow. I'm thinking of things like pottery. Um, I'm thinking along the lines of, you know, something that no one's going to bloody read. Um, um, a sport. I know, I know, I know. Sh Shakespeare. Shakespeare? Why, why Shakespeare? Well, there's uh, no actors here, are there? Well, I if there is, they're not doing their job properly. You know, Carol, you're not as dumb as you look.
then I could tell myself, right? Very nice of you. Oh, oh yeah. you must be Mr. Taylor. I mean, there's people. Yes, that's right. I mean, I've got some friends, made some friends. There's Beryl, this other woman, she's really sweet. Oh, pleased to, pleased to meet you. Friends, made some friends. Pearl, Pearl's lovely, she's so sweet. They all look after me. You come to fix the, um, the hole in the wall in the storeroom? Yes, I heard all about the giant hamster and its baby. Oh, look and the media. Don't let it out to the media. No, don't be silly. They print don't all sorts no. of things. Don't be silly. Come on, Sandra. Thank you. Yes. I mean, that would be all we need on the front page of the newspapers. Wentworth plagued by vermin. I realised that on my first day. Miss Baxter, how can you say such a thing? Easy, I've got no heart. So, where is that giant hamster now? Uh, Mrs. Peterson got Mr. Matthews to drive it out to the Sahara Desert in a paddy wagon. But why didn't the, the RSPCA take it? Oh, don't be silly. They said that no, they don't take no. things as big as that. Don't be they silly. haven't got anyone trained for giant hamsters. Right, I'll go through. I'll um, catch you a lot later. Yes, you do that. Stop loitering around like the rest of you no-hopers. Uh, are you sure the dogs are all right? Yeah, yeah. Come on, Askin. Your time's up. Oh, I've got to go, Catherine. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Guess what? Well, I was in the laundry the other day, and they told me that my uh, teddy bear was lovely from um, your mum. Um, don't be silly, I'll be all right. I love you, you take care. I love you. Andra, stop mucking around. It's gone. There's no one there. Oh. oh. Come on. You've been a little terror then. Peace off. Shall I open up for you, Governor? Oh, yes, Miss Maysworth. What's this? Another one of your stupid little schemes? Or a deal? Last time I made a deal was in 1972 with the head of department. I betted him five pounds to see if I can get you women to riot. And I won that five pounds. Or are you coming in to bash me, I suppose? I have no intentions of doing that. Plus, I've only just put my nail varnish on. Oh, piss off. I will not tolerate insubordination, my girl. Now, why did you go and start that fire? I had my matches on me, and I thought it'd be a good idea, duh. Enough of your crap. Now, I hope you know that you're going to be charged for the damage to the prison property. It will be added to your sentence. I thought you were going to be nice and sort of let me off. I'm getting quite fed up with your stupid little comments. What else do you want? No visitors? No buyer? No exercise period? How can I possibly get exercise period when I'm locked up in this slum? And as for visitors, no one would bother coming and visit me anyway. I meant when your 24 hours are up. I'll be dead when you come to collect me in 24 hours. Got cold turkey, remember? You are lucky that I'm only giving you 24 hours. I was going to give you 20 48. You don't understand what I'm going through. Yes, I do, and that's why I'm going to talk to Stella Brown in the next storm. She can help you. Hey, hang on. What are you on about? I want you both sharing a dorm together when you get out of here. Because Brown, if anyone, knows exactly what you're going through. And I believe she can help you. Bugger off, I don't need any help. I want some bloody drugs. That's what I... Oh, well, I'm sorry, but you can bloody well stew. Come on, Miss Maysworth. I like this one. This this is a good video, isn't it, love? I could have sworn that I had some other pills, you know. I'm sure that container was full. Well, it's over now, Beryl. Just thank God you're all right. But guess what I heard, love? What's that, love? It's about Adam. OK, what gives? Her and Cunningham are up to no good. 
they've got bloody great stash of dope, you know. And, and I was going to try and find out where they were stashing it. Well, what are you plotting? Well, I heard what the, the, that they've hidden the stuff and I've heard everything. Oh, hello, love. Beryl, I, I just had a call in, in the reception from my daughter. This is really special, you and me here. Yes, I'm pleased I swapped shifts in time with Liz. I think I could get used to this, Melanie. Makes a change from working at the prison. We do work hard though, don't we? And especially over catching that giant hamster. Yes, I can tell you like modern art. Oh yes, I do, I love modern art. I mean, I do like the odd antique or few, but, but I can, you can never go wrong with a nice piece of modern art to make a good conversation. Oh, it's so relaxing. You were so quick in taking that hamster to the Sahara Desert. Well, unfortunately, I didn't quite get that far, so I had to take him to a farm. Oh? The old lady there took a fancy to him. She put him in with the horse horses, and there's huge great fields out there in the middle of the outback. So at least he'll be able to roam around free. Oh, I... I I thought you, you and Mrs. Peterson was, were saying that it was on death row now. Hmm, well, yes, but just between you and me, she didn't make any report out to the department about the inmate that it w had murdered. I think she took a liking to that huge cuddly thing. Yes, well, I think it was very, certainly very hungry, wasn't it? She also did state that he only did kill the murderers of the prison anyway. Oh, come on, love. Hurry up, dear. I need the dunny. Hang on, Beryl. I'm trying. Oh, come on, love. The screws would be everywhere. Hold on, hold on. You got it yet, love? No, not, not yet. Oh. Oh. Come on, love. I don't know how long I can wait any longer. It should be here. Oh, Beryl. Oh, my God, Bonza. Thank God. Oh, good on you, love. Stella. You're going to love us.